Hey everyone, it's Nick Dolman here and uh, welcome to Power Platform Week. Today I want to show you quickly the new Power Platform plan designer that's currently in public preview. So you're able to go in and create plans to build your own business applications, whether that be in Power Apps and Power Automate. So very quickly, um, when I'm recording this, you're going to need to set up a new preview environment. So make sure you, when you're setting up your environment in your Power Platform Admin Center, choose a region where it's available. Currently it's available in the United States. By this time, it should be available in other regions. And then also make sure you turn on the get the new features early because it is a preview feature. It's in the preview environments. So once you have that environment set up, then you should be able to go in and use the plan designer. We're in make.preview.powerapps.com and we're on the home page. And of course we see the screen, let's build an app. What should it do? But now we have this new thing, try the new power apps experience. So before you switch that, you might want to set up a solution and a preferred solution and a publisher because that way that the, the new plan designer will use that. But I'm just going to turn this on now. And now we have um, the ability to put in our own prompt of the type of application we want to build, or we could upload images here as well. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one of these sample prompts. Um, employees need to log vacation days, you know, managers need to approve them, all good. We're going to hit this. And then what this is going to do, it's going to kick off the plan designer that's going to do a bunch of things for you. First off, it's going to define the business problem and create a bunch of user personas and user stories to go along with those personas. And see here, it's created this vacation manager app. It's defined my business problem. It's created some user roles, the employee, the manager, and a few others. I can go in and make some changes. And of course, you probably want to iterate on this a little bit to kind of fit your own particular application, or I can just go ahead and accept that. Accept that's going to move us to the next stage where it's going to identify the tables. And it's going to create these tables, um, create dataverse tables in order to store the data, develop that data model for your business application. All right, it's generated a bunch of tables for me, employee, manager, vacation request, vacation history, blackout dates. It defined these tables. Um, what I can do is I can go into the show details and I can begin to see an ERD diagram of these tables that got created. Um, these look good. We can make some adjustments. Actually, at this point, we can't make adjustments, but this is coming soon. And maybe by the time this video is out, we'll be able to go in and use Copilot to further define some of the fields and attributes. But for now, this looks pretty good. Let's go back and we're going to, again, we can go through, make some changes here, but we're going to accept this and we're going to move into the next step of our plan designer. All right, it's generated now the the, da the, the the data tables. It's also generated a bunch of these apps. It's traded a Canvas app, a model-driven app, some Power Automate flows. So it keeps going through the process to continue to define that apps. And again, we can keep going, changing, and iterate on this. Now, this is still in preview, so it's not quite doing everything for us yet, but this is already a great start for planning and building business applications. So let's accept this. And the other thing I'm gonna do is going to save those tables. And what it's going to do, it's going to put them in a new solution. We can either choose this or we could choose um, another existing solution. Let's just choose this vacation manager solution. And it's going to create these tables in that solution along with those apps. All right, we see here it's created these apps. It's created these tables. We see that with the Dataverse signal, our uh, Dataverse logo. And if I want to, I can go in and take out these, take a look at these particular apps. We have a nice little visual here of breaking down the user roles that we created earlier along with the different apps. We could take a look at the Canvas app. Let's take a look at that. And we see here it has created a, um, a Canvas app for us. That's really cool. We can go in and make adjustments, of course, to fine tune our app how we want to do it. Of course, now we have this app that got created for us. So it's taken a lot of that heavy lifting out of the way and created a lot of those screens and forms and things and we can continue to work with this. All right, let's we're back here in the plan designer. Let's take a look at the model driven app. So it's created a model driven app for us. It's put in the little groups and the layouts here. It's got the links to the different tables and it's even filled in some sample data for us as well, which is really handy when we're developing our app. So the same as the Canvas app, we can go in, we can make adjustments that we need in order to get this model driven app up to where we want it. So it's also created stubs into some Power Automate flows. And if I take a look at that, at this point, those Power Automate flows do not yet exist. That is something hopefully that will come very soon in the new plan design to remember. This is preview. Um, please go check it out for yourself. Start planning some apps. See how well it's going to plan your app and how much you can save time. Hope you're enjoying Power Platform Week and we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.